Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and today we are going to do an acrylic pour painting using Mixed Media Girls Jumbo Bottle Bottom. This will be a rose pour on a 20 by 20 inch canvas. So it's obviously not on my table right now because it's way too big for that. I'm gonna have to get a setup on the floor. <laughs> You'll see that shortly. But I need to fill up the cups with paint so I figured I'd do that at the table because that would probably be a lot easier. <laughs> Um, for a 20 by 20 inch canvas, you need approximately 25 ounces of paint. I'm going to go a little bit more than that just to be safe because I don't want to get in the middle of this insane technique on this very large canvas and then not have enough paint. <laughs> so I'm going to start and I don't want these all the way full because the chances of me spilling it is just way too large for that. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the green cups like for the leaves and I'm going to start with a little bit of white in each. I mean, that's mixed up enough. Yeah. Um, and I want to do really thin layers here. So I'm going to speed you up through this process once I tell you all the color names. So for the leaves, we're going to do white, meadow shimmer, and green envy. Both of these were mystery colors available in the mystery boxes. Um, probably a long time ago. All of my paint is very old now, so probably not available at the time you're seeing this video. And then emerald and li elect electric lime, which are part of the standard lineup. And then for the actual rose portion, I'm going to use again some very old mystery colors, the pink powder pink shimmer and the wisteria shimmer. I'm going to use some turquoise pearl white turquoise is a regular color in the lineup and then gold so i'll get all of these cups filled and then we'll do the pour see you in a minute all right we are back so we're on the floor i've got some plastic down so it protects the floor I've got the cake spinner with some cardboard, then the 20 by 20 inch canvas, and then the jumbo bottle bottom. Just off camera, at the very top of your screen, you can see the edge of one of the cups. <laughs> um, so I've got all the cups ready. I'll be sitting on the right hand side of your screen doing this project. Um, I'll either voice it over because I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me from down there, <laughs> um, or I'll just add music to it. We'll see what happens when we get there, but here we go. All right, so I've got everything set up here and I start with pouring the first cup of greens onto the jumbo bottle bottom. And as you can see, this canvas is gonna take a lot of paint. So I'm glad I got the three paints, three cups of paint ready to go. There's cup number two and finally cup number three. And then I just wanna get as much of that drained off of the bottle bottom as possible. And here's where you can see that it's not level because <laughs> all of our little petals are a little squiggly now. So I have to carefully remove the bottle bottom and then do the kiss pour with the other two cups of paint to make the rose in the middle. I really do like the way that the design came out um, with the rose uh, and then just drag a stick through the green petals to make that kind of petally pattern and then spin it. Then as you can see, the paint's kind of running off of one side too soon, so that means it wasn't really level on the cake spinner. So I'm using my finger to move the paint around to hopefully get full coverage and adjust it on the piece of cardboard as well. And then spin it some more. And it's around here you can see that that rose is not going to stay in the middle of the canvas, which makes me extremely sad. <laughs> but there you go. Okay, here we are for the close-up. I'm not going to lie, this is not my favorite, and I will probably end up redoing it. I think I just used a little bit too much paint in the middle. I love the design in the middle. I'm not a big fan of actually the colors I selected, and I don't like that it wasn't even. But I love the colors I chose for the leaves. Look at these gorgeous lines and cells sporadically. I also think the cardboard that I had under here wasn't a very good support. I think it was unlevel and that's what caused some of this paint to not stay where I wanted it to. But we will try again in a future video. Let me know what colors you think I should use for the rose in the middle. That was the one I was really struggling with. 
and I will take those recommendations into consideration. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.